So if you want now to add the height of this old, uh, the calculation surface for the audience because it needs 100, 150 lakhs at least, all you need to do is add a calculation surface, not the calculation grid. Calculation surface, go to the object tab again, calculation surfaces, select the calculation surface here, and then just drag and drop, say yes, and then you need to scale it. Because it's typical to the other side, we can just create one for this, ta for this time. And if the client asks for the other side also, then yeah, you can just copy and paste it there. Okay, so we, can, we will label this one as um, audience. Oh, sorry, this, this one has something on the shape. So let's go on the other side. Okay, so you need to place it precisely on your bench. You can adjust it and scale it. There you go. And it's a good thing because the it will snap automatically because we have a CAD file. There you go. And then label it properly saying this is OGENS. Enter. Calculation surface. Let's say this is perpend perpendicular illuminance. Geomet geometry is this. If you want to make it precise, this is 6.11 and 48.5. This is okay. And then go to the elevation view to adjust the uh, rotation of or the tilting of this one. So right click and then rotate. And then you can adjust it like this. There you go. And then move it up, up, up. Let's just imagine that the degree of this bench is 25 degrees because right now it's 25. And the height of this is, let's say this is 3 meters. Okay, so it's 3 meters and 25 degrees. Alright, so this is the one. And then we need to achieve at least 150 lux on this calculation surface. So let's go and run a calculation for this. Okay, so let's go now and check the report and what does it says about this um, calculation surface results overview. There you go. Ooh, what? This is too bright. Look at that. So it's not even 150 lakhs. It's 2,000 lakhs. <laughs> okay, it's so bright. All right, so yeah, what to do? It's bright enough. Let's go and check. Yeah, so it's 2,500. Those red is 2,500 lux. Yeah, it's too bright. Okay, and then once you did this one, it's now time for you to add those other decorations like uh, that swimming pool texture and the benches. So how to add the calculation surface is... Uh, go and just adjust one element like a cube and then insert if you want to more a little more decorative of that you can add even the path walk side and other stuff but like what I mentioned go and run the calculation for lighting first before you add those uh, extracurricular thing so scale it and then make it little make it so thin that it will not affect uh, the height, the calculation height of um, the calculation grid height. Because if it's too thick, then it will affect the calculation grid height. So I will scale it here and then we will add a texture on this one, like a water texture. And say the height of this one is 0 0.005. Enter. And let's see how it looks. And it's supposed to be in the zero there you go let's see and then go to the uh, color texture color tab textures and go for the outdoor and go for the water and select the water that you like and then just drag and drop there you go now you have your lovely water and uh, if you want to see the uh, aiming look uh, aiming diagram of this flat desk you can press ctrl r yeah so it's just going down so no problem so just ctrl r if you want if you don't want to see it 
and if you want to add the benches all you need to do is okay let me save this one first all you need to do is go to the object tab again let's just imagine i'm going to create a uh, steps for this um audience so what i'm going to do is this time i'm going to use the extrusion volume okay so go to this um extrusion volume tab and then insert and then i will trade i will use this um, bench as a guide so click it and another one there and another one on the end of the bench and here so i'll go i will create like a steps or a staircase so i i can actually use the um the grid to do this but because it's not so precise as I'll just assume everything. Okay, so I now have my lovely staircase for this bench. Okay, it's not so perfect. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, so once you do this one using the extrusion volume, you can now say OK. And then go to the elevation view and you can rotate it. So right click and then rotate. Okay, maybe on the other side of the elevation view. Okay. Make it stand like this one. Okay. And then go to the other side. Look at this. Perfect. Yep, so it's good. I can now run another calculation. And if you want to beautify more this um, Olympic Stadium, you can add more objects like, like what I did for the diving board. So let's run it now again. Okay, see now it's taking time because I added objects. That's why we need to make sure that we put the luminaires and calculation first before we add those decorations. And let's see the false color. Wow, I love it. Okay, and if you want to add a ray trace image, of course, you can also do that. If you want to impress your clients, just go and click this one, <clears throat> ray trace image, and then start. And now you have your ray trace image. It's not showing any uh, reflections on the water. Doesn't matter now. <laughs> okay, but you can add and beautify it more. And for like what I, miss, I said, I need to uh, label this camera properly. So TV camera number one <clears throat> and number two. So your calculation report will be more professional to, to read. And number five. Okay, and they can also uh, easily find out which camera has the lowest value because you label it properly okay so we have seven cameras then perfect so let's go and check again the report how it looks so you can add your project name here table of contents of course luminary parts list so we need to have 92 pieces of this floodlight it's only 939 watt perfect compared to the one with uh, 2000 kilo kilowatt metal halide it's more efficient and the summary looks like this. So it has 303 locks on the horizontal. And look at this report. Amazing. You can also add this report. The TV cameras 1, 2, 3. Calculation of photometric result for the walls and everything. And the calculation surface for the audience. And if you have a diving board, you can add also that area. You can also include the 3D rendering and also the false color and of course your lovely ray trace views. You can add more if you like. And then of course the most important is the calculation report for the TA and for the PA. Okay. Oh shoot, look at this. It's too high. Uh, hold on right there. What happened? uh-huh so if you can see the report becomes ugly so what we need to have is 2000 lux on the perpendicular and only one four on the camera 
All right. So I think uh, the perpendicular or the horizontal lax value becomes less because we put object. And I think that calculation surface is on the bottom of that object. So what we're going to do is we will increase the height of the calculation surfaces. Say, for example, 0.1. Just to make sure it's on the top of the swimming pool object. So let's say 0.1. And also the T the PA is 0.1 and uh, we found out that the vertical becomes so high so maybe we can remove some luminaires so let's go to the plan view and let's say the line arrangement will become say for example because right now we have 23 pieces for each so let's just change it with uh, 20 pieces each Maybe we can retain the spacing of 2.5 distance or not, if you like. Okay, so let's go and try the 20 pieces each of each row and see how it looks. Let's save it for now first and then calculate. Okay, so it's done and let's go now directly to the calculation report and see how it looks. TA, still too high, but we have 1.9. We can uh, remove some luminaires still. Okay, it's still 2,000 lux. Oh, perfect. Let's go and make it, maybe, uh, maybe. Let's make it, say, 16 pieces each row. And then enter. And then let's calculate again. Alright, so let's go and check. TA. Yeah, there you go. So it's 2000, perfect, 1.5. And only we require 1.4 for the cameras. How about the PA? It's still high. So how about if I reduce one more? One more. So instead of 16 per row let's just make it 15 then there you go say yes I love it and you can actually open the uh, let's make it horizontal here let's open the result display values real time okay also for the TA let's make it horizontal display values real time and let's change this one as horizontal not perpendicular okay and then press calculate and let's see how it looks you can see the values here immediately but I want to calculate it because there are some reflections from the benches and also from the walls so let's see how it looks there you go it's done and then let's see the values from surfaces summary TA Ooh, love it see there is 1400 Zero two, <laughs> and the other one is one five. This is fine because this is for the PA. So that's it. Um. All right. So Francesca, this is very easy. I told you we already achieved the last value for both the vertical and the horizontal camera and the horizontal values. So that's it. So if you have question, just let me know. May as give me comments or even likes if you like and don't forget uh, to watch out for my udemy course about the in-depth study of the olympic swimming pool indoor lighting calculations okay so oops i forgot you can also look for a uh, floodlight in the loom search if you don't like the thorn champion all right just use this www.loomsearch.com Home. make sure you are in this um, sports application and recreation mounting mode should be in the wall or pole top and then the light distribution should be asymmetric Do not forget it should be asymmetric and the co light color should be 4000 Kelvin uh, sorry 5500 Kelvin because it's for CCTV Okay, so that's it and I hope to see you again on the next video. Bye!